The idol anime is a massively popular genre within the anime medium, with classics like K-On, juggernauts like Love Live, and action shows like Symphogear. I've had a lot of people try to get me to watch these, but it wasn't until this year, when Wit Studio took idols into the future, when I would finally get to one. Let me introduce you to Vivi, and why I think you should give it a chance. Diva is the first autonomous AI ever created. Every AI in this future society is given a mission upon their creation that becomes the center of their world. Diva is tasked to make everyone happy with her singing and to sing from her heart in order to do so. However, she has not been singing for very long nor very successfully before Matsumoto, an AI program from the future, tasks her with preventing an AI-human war a hundred years from now. In doing so, Diva and Matsumoto must take on not only hostile AI, but humans in a widely varying set of situations, usually many decades apart. With this premise, I'll admit I was hooked, even if it wasn't the future I would have wanted. What gives this show its own style, different from other future or time travel anime, is its focus on self-discovery and growth through D.Va. While the setting is very important, don't get me wrong, it really is just the vehicle for her evolution. She and all other autonomous AI are incredibly close to humans, to the point that outside of some difficulties in understanding emotion and their singular focus on their missions, they are indeed human. It's just that final step that she needs to make to really connect with her human heart. It wants you to ask something. It wants you to ask yourself the same questions that she is asking. How do I put my heart into something? What is a heart? What am I willing to sacrifice for my goals? What is really important? And I know, as this series deals with time travel, it could have been more problematic or difficult to understand with character personalities and consistency jumping all over the place. But the overarching premise, which does not involve constant time leaps like other shows, keeps everything fairly in line, and none of the different cases overstay their welcome. Side characters come and go, and are given just enough room to breathe before it moves on. They knew what they wanted to do with the story, and I really appreciate it. Vivi Florite Eye's song is quick, concise, and high quality. Diva, a singing AI, is highly focused on her mission, which she is almost never willing to compromise. Her programming only makes her put human safety before her own, and makes her highly suspicious of Matsumoto. This is not to say, however, she is suspicious of AI in general. In fact, quite the opposite, she cares for them similarly to humans. It just seemed that he was acting odd. It is in her adventures and interactions with both other AI and humans that she tries to discover what the heart is, and how to put true emotion into her singing. Perhaps it would be accurate to say that she already cared for others, but she did not truly understand what that means at the beginning. A state shared by most of the other AI. They are just one step from being human. Matsumoto. He is an AI from the future without humanoid form highly advanced in hacking, programming, and filled with personality. But I think it is in him that we see the most interesting connection between humans and AI. He doesn't always react to human and AI death, like D.Va. He is laser focused on his mission, and while he cares and grieves for others, he will use his mission to rationalize death and destruction when he feels it is necessary. Something that could be thought of as one of his, sadly, more human aspects. Something he shares with Yugo Kakitani, one of the few characters to carry over through multiple arcs. Yugo is a member of an anti-AI group called Toak, which is one of the off-and-on obstacles that Vivi and Matsumoto must overcome. He is honestly one of the more problematic characters in the show due to his sporadic appearances, to the point where I kind of forgot what he looked like and who he was for a while. This is not to say that he's a bad character, 
He is just central to some confusing moments, and it isn't always clear what he's thinking. My goodness, if Wit Studio could animate my life. Despite this being an anime about singing and time travel, the action is masterful. Every fight is so full of energy and interestingly choreographed. This extends into the performances sometimes as well, with great integration of VFX and 2D animation to create lively stages for every song. One thing of note, the art direction for the show will change into a hyper-detailed style whenever the weight or emotion of a particular moment needs to be emphasized, but without movement. This can be jarring at first, like looking at a fly under a microscope by accident. But after getting used to it, I appreciated the extra effort that went into these illustrations. They are really breathtaking. My personal problems with Vivi are very simple. I feel the main villain has an interesting reveal, and to be honest, I don't know how it could have been a different culprit. But as a character, their conception is really weak, and it contributes very little to the show. Their main purpose is to connect Vivi's personal goal of singing with the overall conflict, something I appreciate, as it gives more weight in the story to her personal growth and her goal. But where the show shines is in the main character's growth and the case-by-case -case antagonists, which have far more complexity and interesting motivations, even if they're only around for an episode or two. But there are some, let's just say, uh, jarring moments. Overall, it's a good series with great animation, and I was sad to see it buried under the mountain of Tokyo Revengers, video incoming, to your eternity and others. Guys, I really want to thank you for your support, and I'm going to be putting out more content more often from now on. Really want to give YouTube a real shot. With that said, I appreciate the subs, likes, and always read every comment, so please let me know what you think and what you want to see in the future. Peace.